Hey everybody, I wanted to give you guys uh, an update. Happy May 28th. I uh, hope you guys had a good Memorial Day weekend. So, a lot of stuff has happened today. Uh, first and foremost, it's my birthday. So, happy birthday me. I'm one year older. I'm not going to tell you my age, but I'm just happy that the first number still starts with a four. We'll leave it at that. I definitely felt a year older when I woke up this morning. I did, did not want to get up. Um, but got, got up, normal routine, watching or had my coffee, watched Daily Driven Exotics like I do every day, and boom, what a bombshell. Uh, if you guys watch Daily Driven Exotics, or if you don't, you should watch it. You should subscribe to it. That was a bombshell that happened. I was, I was blown away so much so that, uh, and I, I've been watching Damon and Dave for years, and I don't think I've ever seen them, other than the one time Dave made the fake story <laughs> about the assessor, the insurance assessor looking at the, the F-12. Other than that, but I've never, I don't think I've ever seen them uh, do a like response video like so quickly after they dropped the video. Um, kudos to them to be full transparent. Love their stuff. Love their content. You should subscribe and watch their stuff. It, it was really good. Also very shocking of everything that's happened. Um, as you guys know, in, in my videos, you in the past, you've seen other people in my videos that you don't see anymore. Some YouTubers, some not YouTubers. I mean, I'm still on friendly terms with everybody, but uh, things happen. And, and like, you know, like they said, people come and go. Uh, people come and go. Not what your vision is and what you want to do is not always in alignment with what everyone else can do and it's not a lot of times it's not that they don't want to be a part of it it's just you know they they also have their own responsibilities and their own things going on in their lives so it it, it, ha it happens it happens um also today because porsche knew it was my birthday they released the new 911 the 992.2 also i wanted to give thanks to a few people uh, let me pull it up real quick so uh, I want to give thanks to uh, Eric. Eric always, uh, he's one of my subscribers, always responds to my videos, always puts comment. Thank you. Uh, Red Dog. Red Dog said he's, he's been, uh, let's see, I think it was this one. Um, I can't find the exact comment. But he's, he said he's been a technician for Audis and Volkswagens for many, many years and gave me a, a bunch of tips that would probably help me. This is in response to my previous video where I was, I was kind of vented and got frustrated. I actually just made that video just to make it. Didn't even put any thought into it. Uh, and I just wanted just wanted the vent. I, I didn't expect it to go anywhere. And I'm actually getting really good positive feedback. And I appreciate that. So I don't like to get beat, especially when it comes to cars. I'm, I'm a competitive person anyways. But especially when a car beats me down, I hate that. So I have ordered a stronger, uh, longer breaker bar. And that will be here this week. I've also... I, I, Reading some of uh, Red Dog's comments here, uh, we're going to try some things, and I'm going to give it another go here uh, at my house in the, in the garage this week. And if that doesn't, if I can't get them to break loose, that's fine. Um, I also have there's a DIY place in Portland. I didn't even know about it. So there's a DIY garage that you can rent the lift. It has professional lift. They've got tools. They've got everything. They even have uh, if you click on their website, I'll, I'll put the I'll put the link in the, in the description. Here's their webpage right here. Um, and it says uh, that they have service under services that they'll do like fluids and other stuff too. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it looks like I looked at their webpage, looked at some of the photos, and it just looks like it used to be a, a car shop that probably went out of business. And these guys bought it over and they had a vision of DIY, DIY people with professional uh, access to professional equipment, which is really, it's awesome. Um, it's the only one I found so far in the Portland area, so I'm going to link that in my description. And so that's going to be part two. All right, so, so that's my update for uh, the week and what I'm going to do later this week. I, I didn't film when I changed the brakes on the Audi previously because it's it's brake dust is one of those really dirty jobs. You get you just get dirty. Um, second, probably to oil change. Oil change isn't too bad, actually. If you've done it a few times and you know that you know the little tricks to not get oil on you, it's not too bad. Brake dust just gets on everything whether you try to not get it on you or not the brake dust the corrosion it's just it's a dirty job so that's why i don't film it because 
I'm by myself. I don't have a camera guy so or a camera person. So I'd have to be holding the camera or holding my phone or holding the GoPro or whatever I'm going to hold while I'm doing the work and I'm getting everything just disgusting and filthy. That's why I didn't record it. For the Audi, if I can get these, uh, if I can get these bolts to break loose earlier this week, I'll probably film that. Uh, I will film that and maybe put some little freaking hero music to it or something and uh and i'll do that so maybe i'll film the audi rear brakes when i get to that point um don't know don't know if i'm gonna do that but that's what i'm gonna be working on this week as far as the porsche goes there's nothing to do on it there's i mean it's to drive uh there's things i'd like to do but i you know i, I need a lot more money to do um i've i've looked at different stuff um uh, michael uh from motors and meats he did something it, he installed 991 part side skirts, uh, front lip, and something uh, uh, rear. I forgot. Rear, there wasn't a diffuser. Um, anyways, in any case, he installed it using a bolt-on kit, which is really cool and I've seen in the past. And I've s seen pictures of cars with that, and I wasn't too interested until I saw his video. And his video was really, really good. Um, it's not exactly how I would do my car for the looks wise, uh, aesthetically. I mean, what the, the kit, the bolts on and the way it worked was freaking wonderful. Uh, and it made me want to go buy it. I was like, yeah, I'll, absolutely. I want to get that for my car. And I've already looked at their website and they do have it for my car. Um, but style wise, I'd like, I kind of like to mix, mix some things up. Like I really like the Moss, ha Moss Hammer's front spoiler and side skirts. I'm not crazy about the ducktail from Moss Hammer because it's only, it's basically just where the portion is where your uh, spoiler comes out. It's just that piece. If I did a ducktail, I'd want like the OEM style ducktail that came from Porsche where you replace your whole deck lid. Uh, so, and I'm not, I'm 50-50 on ducktails. I'm, I like it on some cars. I don't like it on the car. When it's, when it's OEM and it's factory, it looks awesome. When it's aftermarket, some look good. Some don't look so good. So that's why I'm kind of 50-50 on it. Uh, but I did like the uh the little uh lower lower trim pieces on the rear bumper those were really nice and when i looked at mosh hammer they don't have that they have a rear diffuser but they don't have the end pieces on the bottom of the bumper uh so your only other option is to replace your rear bumper with something else some gt gt3 style or gt2 rs style or something like that future we'll see what we do i haven't decided yet uh my value for my car keeps going up too so that's that's a plus so that may open the door uh down the road to maybe get into something nicer or newer but like i said in the past i don't ever want to get rid of my car it's one of those cars i'd like to keep forever still get something newer like a 991 or a 992 and have my car at the same time or go the opposite way keep my car and get like a 964 something like that i would absolutely love to get a 964 uh, but we, we don't know. We don't know. So that's what I'm doing on this short week and probably not a lot of content coming out, but you never know. Things happen. I didn't plan on making content for the, about the Audi brakes. I didn't plan on making content for, well, I guess I did plan making content for the flex disc, but I didn't even know the flex disc on the uh, drive shaft was bad. Uh, one of you guys told me it was bad. So that was kind of unplanned content that turned into a plan. So who knows what's going to happen this week? Maybe something like that will happen. Um, the windows, it looks gray outside. And you think it's just because of window shade? No, it's because it's gray and rainy. So we haven't gone flying either. Um, actually, flying has gone up yet again. The cost of things have gone up. Fuel sur surcharges have gone up. It's gotten more expensive. So that's why you haven't seen any flying content lately. I've had to put a little pause on that. It, it's, getting, it's getting more expensive. It's getting to the point where the Porsche is cheaper than flying. If you can imagine that, that's crazy, right? Modifying and doing things on the Porsche is significantly cheaper than flying. <laughs> didn't ever think, didn't see that one coming. So enjoy your week and I'll catch you guys next video, whenever it is, whatever it's about.